What's good, YouTube? Today we have another market watch for you guys. And the first thing happening, I kind of stressed that maybe you'd want to consider trading for years or getting years now. Well, uh, we're seeing a forced buyout of Lullaby, not a natural one. And mainly on TCG player, because uh, let's not give the shock value here. Over here we see that uh, it's still 13, which is up a little. Uh, $13, you know, being the lowest and quickly rising. Maybe sellers pulling their back as they see this happening over here, uh, rather than it actually getting bought out. So, I, I don't like when this happens. I don't like when a forced buyout happens. I do like catching it in the middle to show off that it is happening. Uh, you might want to consider going and trading for years around the price of 10 to 15 right now. Uh, I do think it could land up being a $20 card. It was a low of 30 last night on TCG Player, but definitely the uh, buyout getting forced. Overdose Gaming, Adam Corn even getting in on here. Uh, typically, we see him have the cheapest prices. Maybe he was the cheapest last night while it was 30. Uh, but definitely... A lot of people have been waiting for this moment for it to spike. A lot of people saying, well, I'm just going to steal my opponent's Mome Rats. Uh, definitely one of the best speculated mirror cards of all time. Uh, if you don't know what it does, pay 2,000 life points to declare a monster card name, so only monsters. Your opponent looks at their deck, reveals one of the declared monsters, if there is any. So it doesn't say uh, you get to look through your opponent's deck. Your opponent looks at their deck, uh, if there is any, and applies one of these effects. Add it to the hand of the player who activated this card. Or, uh, the player who activated this card special summons to the field in attack position, ignoring its summoning conditions. I would think you're always giving it to the hand rather than the field, unless you have a battle trap. And sorry about my phone not being silenced. Uh, had some situations where I had to have it on earlier. So, let's look at the next card getting hyped. Uh, different Dimension Ground Voltage Games with the lightly played as the lowest, but... The uh, Near Mint now at 15, quickly rising up. I believe I showed this card off when it was 8, and it just continues to go up. So uh, a lot of people have been asking me, what do I side for Infernoids? What do I side for DDDs? Different Dimension Ground is definitely one of those cards. Different Dimension Ground uh, just covers and blankets, uh, getting rid of those secondary resources. Uh, it's, it's And it turns off. That's the really cool thing about it. So it doesn't hurt you so bad because... It's only during this turn, so it allows you to continue your plays unlike Macro's Cosmos if you're resourcing your own graveyard while shutting your opponent off from theirs during their turn. Again, it's an STBL card. I can't stress this enough. STBL always spikes. This card has been expensive before. It will be expensive again until it finally sees a reprint one day, but much like uh, many cards that didn't necessarily deserve their price, this card is going to see play in the meta, I believe, and uh, being an SCBL card, it will be inflated. So I would go ahead, even at 15, start trading for yours now. I wouldn't be spending cash, but I would trade if you can. And we see it's actually higher on eBay for once, and there are no American sellers. We've got three French uh, down here. We've got a seller from Australia and a seller from Canada, so... Uh, it would be very, very easy to force that price up as there's only one page of these uh, total. And again, Adam Korn is speculating alongside me here. I see this man's got good taste. Um, definitely one of the better thought out, perhaps, uh, cards to think about having a few of. Definitely want to have your own. Uh, Sanctum continuing to rise. Very surprising here. I thought 20 would be it until the deck hit and it either showed or did not. But this card's nearing its highest price of all time. Uh, 25 so even with the reprint. I mean, we haven't seen a reprint of it in two years. But man, this card is quickly, quickly kind of just showing that it definitely wants to be there. Like... Wind Witches, yes, they're very, very good. Like, don't get me wrong. I, I think it's nice to have that thought that we have another option outside of uh, Zodiac to play and be very good. And there's a lot not to discount with the other decks, I know. But Sanctum has that ability to shut off the entire extra deck, unlike Dimensional Barrier. So it's basically like, 
I don't know, you're playing Scythes also, which bricks you some decks harder. Other decks can actually take advantage of that and start destroying their own back row during their opponent's turn more naturally than others. Backing the Crystal Wing with this card's insane, especially when that Crystal Wing can't be destroyed by card effects. It's just so hard to say it's worth $25 with that reprint. Like, I think it's worth $20. It hasn't proved itself yet. I, if it proves itself, I can see it being $30. Maybe people are just saying it's that proven. It's rough. It's rough, guys. I really don't know. It's it's getting there on uh, multi-platforms, too. We have a 23, and then it's 25 here on eBay, too. And there's only one. Uh, and it even says restock. So I'm guessing a, a buyer defaulted, but... I don't know, guys. This one, it's too hard for me to call. I could see it becoming 30, but I think it deserves a 20 right now until it proves itself. Uh, Scythe actually following suit very quickly. As you see, there's only a couple here. Six total. Two play sets on the market before. It's a $5 card here. Uh, very similar effect here. Lightly played, and then it's already five here with the Mega Pack. So that's the... The Prio first heads are actually cheaper somehow. Uh, you might want to actually snap these up. Resurrected Games, that sounds very familiar. Uh, Resurrected Games. Ah, that's the uh, shop out of uh, Austin, I believe, in Texas. But the Ultra's actually gone down from that $8 uh, price point that it was at. So, odd enough, the Hollowed versions are lowering and are only a dollar above the speculated super prices to be soon. Uh, because it'll go down very fast and... Uh, eBay actually has a lot more to buy out, though. Three, and then it quickly goes to four, as you see. Only two below four. And uh, then we have quite a few before it gets to five. But not too many, actually. It, it already goes to five here. Like, one, two, three, uh, four, 24 sold. Five, six, seven, eight, nine listings. So, potentially three playsets, depending, like... Does this guy still have multiple? Yes, only five available, though. This guy's selling his fast. The Artifact Engine is definitely powerful. The Artifact Engine is very good. I I think I would get your slice now, play sets for 10s if you could find them. Uh, otherwise, I would make your considerations on what you're doing based off of, again, hopefully considering like that it does something real twin twister very much so on the rise twin twister is going insane uh perhaps goes along with the artifact engine a bit but uh adam corn actually the cheapest mint here so showing off his uh his base again he's all over this market watch and uh we see it's a solid 12 plus on tcg player uh the lowest is uh above 12 and it's a damage $11, uh, and then quickly to 12 only two under on eBay. So again, very, very close. Uh, Twin Twisters has just been creeping up there. It's always, it had been 10, it got re reprinted, went to eight, and now we see about a 33% slow increase. It's been a slow grind there. So I just wanted to cover that, yes, it is going up. Uh, <laughs> something else going up. Uh, three to four dollars might not seem like a big jump to you guys. That's 25% increase. Uh, a lot of people speculating that these spirals might actually be real to be able to compete with Zodiac. They're saying they're going to double the number of monsters coming out here. And Super Agent is a splashable card and many other rogue strategies. I would definitely pick yours up as long as it's under 5. I would go ahead and have this ready. Uh, if the deck is real, it will spike hard. Uh, even if the deck's real, it's not going much lower than this price point, and you can use it in a lot of fun strategies. So I would definitely be picking yours up now, and we see the increases on eBay too. Pot of Desires is sitting at 70 and uh, actually teetering towards going down. A lot of people are saying you don't need it with Zodiac, you're not going to use it with Zodiac, you don't want to banish those pieces. You don't use it with Lawn Mowing because you're trying to mill your deck. It's about to be phased out. There are still going to be decks like D Full Power DDD that are going to abuse Desires. Uh, it really comes down to what you're playing and what you're planning to play. But a lot of people are saying sell, sell, sell. I'm on the fence that I think because of all this, it might go to 50. Uh, but again, it's so hard to call these kinds of things. But I really do think it will be seeing a drip down to 50. So if you are scared and you're not going to be playing it, you plan on getting rid of it, I would go ahead and probably sell it now. Maybe sell your set for like 180, 190. 
and uh, because you know these guys aren't getting this price they're getting feed so like I would go ahead and hook somebody up uh, so they're not that you know salty too if it goes down and uh, you know save your money for in case mobile rats a secret or whatever pieces are gonna be expensive for the deck you're actually planning to play if you're planning on a deck without desires and you have desires uh, so, yeah, that's quickly going. And the final consideration, Vanity Sphine. Very, very, very good in the DDD mirror. You kind of can just make half of a board and protect your Vanity Sphine and drop Vanity Sphine on something else since you aren't required to use your normal summon. Now, the reason why this is a 50-50 kind of thing is uh, there aren't many versions and they're all pretty high as you see here. Uh, about $10 for the lowest even the commons right now. That's actually pretty insane, right guys? But... The thing is, uh, field wipes are about to become much more prevalent. Double Dark Hole, Regeki, uh, the Kaiju Slumbers, I do not believe can activate if he's out. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But we have Double Dark Hole and Regeki, unlike Japan. But the uh, OP pack ultis are pretty low right now. So uh, I would consider holding them if you have them. And again, we've got uh, $21 quickly to $22. So... I don't know, guys. Uh, it's really tough to call with the field wipes. Uh, but if you're playing TDD, I think you want access to this. And um, it definitely doesn't hurt. Uh, the commons are 10, so to hollow it out is only double price. That's really not bad. I'd be getting these if you have the money or trade excess and you're going to be playing DDDs. So thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys think about what's happening. You know, is this, you know, just transparent as all get out? Uh, I think so. Is different dimension ground deserving of a higher price than it currently is? Uh, 15 seems really legit for what it is, but I think as an STBL card it will go up. Sanctum I think is too high for not having proved anything. So is uh, Scythe, Scythe at 5 is acceptable, but Sanctum at 25 is pretty insane to me. Even though it's, you know, just another 20% increase without it having done, uh, you know anything towards the future format it's definitely performing in the current format it is performing it's abc uh, you know has been using this for a while we've even seen fap frog artifact paleozoic but again all these things just going up not much going down during this market watch thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed yourself and uh let me know what you guys think and as always if there's any cards that i missed on this let me know in the comment section below